Hey there! We had some fairly big dev updates in April, so let's spend a couple of minutes looking at the highlights. We'll start by looking at BAN, which is finally offering Windows support starting with version 1.1. The runtime is continuing its focus on speed and optimizations, with BAN install performing 30 times faster than NPM and various other Node APIs seeing improvements when it comes to speed. While BAN is still a young technology, it enjoys a lot of attention from the community and it is interesting that we are already seeing success stories from people who are migrating their products to BAN. Next, stepping into the view world for a second, Vitpress version 1 was just released. Vitpress is a static site generator designed for building fast, content-centric websites. SSG is one of those areas that became fairly crowded in recent years and you'll have a lot of options to choose from depending on your preferred design experience. Another big announcement in the front-end world was the merger of the Angular and Wiz frameworks. While Angular is well established in the industry, Wiz has a different story. This is another web framework used internally at Google and has been focused mostly on performance-critical apps. Think of the fast rendering needed in Google Search for instance. So the plan moving forward is to steadily open source Wiz features via Angular and give the community access to some of the best web development practices discovered at Google. Stepping away from the dev world for a second, April was marked by a pretty big blow to the open source world. A well-planned major backdoor attack affecting various Linux distributions was discovered by accident. This goes to show that much of the code we depend on is usually in the hands of overworked, underpaid devs. We also got back the results of the Go developer survey in April and it's interesting to see how this community remains one of the happiest, with 93% of the respondents being satisfied with Go during the last year. Go has a lot going for it and it is always a good idea to take a look at it if you are not familiar with the language. Finally, the most recent TC39 meeting took place a few weeks back and, besides some useful new methods added to the set class, we should be really excited about the addition of signals as a stage 1 proposal. Signals are powering the reactivity in most modern front-end frameworks these days and it's going to be a big step forward towards simplifying our stacks once this become a browser standard. If you find such updates useful, you should consider joining our newsletter by clicking the link in the description or watch one of these videos next. Until next time, thank you for watching.